I came with the breath of change and civilization at the time. I settled among a people and was beneficial to all far and near. In the year 1910, after decades of the progenitors in Onisha and Oposi, east of the Niger, I began my journey. My beer, my abode, was made possible by Ezebube Solomon Ezokoli, a royalty full of dignity and splendor, an achiever, a great man, powerful and respected by people from far and near. Here I lie in bits and pieces with hope. Here are my carcass and debris with aspiration. Here are the remains of my greatness of yesteryears. I only exist in shambles and ruins of a hundred years. Though I am surrounded by modernity, the present-day civilization that I brought, where is my beginning, where is my old self after a century? I am searching for myself in the hands and hearts of the children I begot. I am St. Simon's CMS Central School Nobi, famous and great in my days of yore. His Royal Majesty, Chief Solomon Ezokoli, the first traditional king of Nobi, an arrowhead in the advent of Christian religion of CMS extraction in a nobi. CMS missionary with a logio masenaka first igwe of nobi. Igwe is a cold, is a rubber, the first Solomon. On your plant, you now qua here. Formerly, you now qua on a church called Wolusian Motors logo. We got here, Stena Aka Igua. A total mother work for Talon, you know, free auto has word. So now, money to Akuqua Bam or we go on a bus and Aka, you go as a code, the first. This was a missionary school, it was set up by the Church Missionary Society under the pioneership of his royal hands. Central School Nobi mounted the pedestal of a full-fledged standard school in 1918. Its first headmaster was Mr. S. N. Nkemena, a native of Obosi. It is on record that in the 1937 Standard 6 examination, St. Simon's CMS Central School, Nobi, had 11 brilliant candidates who came out successful in that level of academics then. The school began to own classroom blocks with corrugated iron sheets from 1933. Shortly in 1935, the first batch of female pupils were admitted into the school. This gave a total of 165 pupils with 134 as males and 31 as females. The pupil's population growth continued unabated that, as at 1945, a combined population of 409 was recorded. 282 boys and 127 girls with Mr. D. O. Ngosu as headmaster.
Central School Nobi continued its journey to greatness under the leadership and administration of noble men and women at various record times. Imagine from the devastating effects of the Nigeria Biafra Civil War, government took over such schools, including Central School Nobi, in both administration, funding, and infrastructural development. Central School Nobi had its fair share of the negative and positive effects arising from the government takeover of mission schools. When somebody prepares in the morning and goes to the street, he will, somebody will call the family and say that he has been kidnapped and they will be calling the amount of money to bear him or her. It is unfortunate that is the product of government takeover of school and the Christian religious knowledge, Christianity was relegated to the background. Nobody talked about Christ, but Christ should be the center of our life. A wind of change blew in 2011 when the Anambra state government decided and implemented the policy to return most schools to their original owners, especially those in mission category. We supervise these schools, see their state. If you can look around, you can see some structure that has been restructured since then. I think this, is, this school is one of the schools that benefited initially from the restructuring that is going on in all our, prim our primary schools. Because uh, when they handed back the schools to us, many of the structures were dilapidated. But this school benefited from that. And you know, we have a number of schools. The singular act of government really brought a new lease of life back to the schools that we are mere shadows of themselves. The church, the government, and the host communities and other relevant major stakeholders partnered and collaborated in matters of the welfare of the school, teachers, and pupils. When uh, some schools were returned to the ownership of uh, the ownership of Anglican Communion or Macadlet, this school is one of the ones that is returned to Anglican Communion. The state government you know, releasing finance through the church. So in the, in the recent time, Bishop Owen Wokolo, he is the one that did the walling of the compound and they renovated another building there. And that's the only building that is strong now in the compound. So the state government equally, they are functional. They pay the teacher's salary as when due. They don't even delay. Uh -huh and even leave allowance. They don't even delay in doing it. So they are contributing a lot because once a teacher has something in his or her pocket, he can move the system forward. Uh -huh. And the church, they normally come for supervision. They will come and supervise from the diocese and know how the teachers are performing in the classroom with the purpose. We do a bit here and do a bit here. Then when it goes round, we can still come back. In its turbulent years and years of succor and benevolence, Central School Nobi believed it is worth it to mark the 100 years of its existence. Touch the lives of people that this school has met to remember this school. Bless those that are working here presently and those that will work here in the future. Bless those that are pupils in this place presently, and those that will still be here in the future. Father, may your name continue to be glorified in all things here in the name of Jesus. The centenary service at the Central School Field identified Christian religious knowledge as the bedrock of sound discipline in mission schools from the time of the early missionaries. 
book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall maintain it therein day and night. I believe part of what should be our curriculum in the school is Christian religious knowledge. I remember some time ago, few years back, Christian religion was scrapped out of a curriculum. They joined it and said religion and national value, just to make it a, a, something that is not so important. But that is the most important thing, because any religion, any education without Christ is rubbish. Anglicanism. That's why I look back and I find myself up to today. I have not been shaking in my Anglicanism because this is the center, the root. Anglican founded the school. This is where we learn to use a better This is where we learn to use ancient and modern. This is where we even learn to use SS and S, sacred song and so. This is where we learned about how to be a member of all the church groups. I was a member of a boys brigade. Was a member of youth Anglican youth. I was you know and then. We get to learn how to get being a communicant of an Anglican church, even from this school. Central School Novi is considered as lagging behind and neglected in terms of impact and contributions from major stakeholders, especially those that passed through the school, whose lives and character we are molded into usefulness, sound growth, and rapid development. We expect that. The people who pass through here will reciprocate by applying back what God has blessed them with to make this place always bubble with life and vitality. The children that are here this morning, if they look at those who pass through here, those who started the pioneers, I don't know whether any of them is still alive. Unless those who are up to 100 years. But I know that there are many successful people who have passed through this place. Their presence here this morning or today will demonstrate to these children that there is hope and there is future for them. That these people were once pupils in this school and today they are wanting or the other. It's a great encouragement. If um, you come to a compound and there's um, a building you want to lo look at as a monument, you do it very well and it will be neat so that when somebody comes in it will, it will, it will not be an eyesore. They will look at it and say, why is this? He said, it's to show the generation that is to come that this is where we started. But when you look at that thing, it's no longer a building. You, you can only okay, see mud blocks with some plaster, something, some are off and some in. It doesn't represent, it's like an, an idol shrine. It's not good for the compound. The centenary celebration of Central School Nobi provided those who passed through the four walls of the ancient primary school of greatness a medium of nostalgia, looking back with a feeling of awe and satisfaction. This is my fundamental school. This is where I started, where I graduated primary six years. I started with Abom, primary school Abom, year one, year two. Then I came here, I did primary three to primary six. I graduated in the year of 1979. So intellectually, then they had the good teachers. So they taught us well. I did very well in my primary six. And it took me over to secondary school, then to university level where I had my okay. PhD. Okay. I am an old uh, pupil of this school. To be precise, I left this school in 1965 for secondary school. And having left this school in 1965, what can you identify as the impact of this very school in your life, especially at the early stage of your life? 
could just oh, like the uh, person who gave us the sermon this morning said, you know, during those periods, there was real discipline in the school, coupled with the preaching of the word of God. So those things that were planted in us in those years, we grew with, with them and it has given us an edge over uh, some of the people that are just coming up. Uh, so the fear of God, then working hard. And I believe that the foundation we had from this school helped me to attain the height that I reach in, in life as a director of education. <laughs> Mandina has why had ye a gra at Wego. Our total mother, I go on alone. The only impact that has remained with me is discipline. When you remember in the morning, you have to go to Nobi Central School. You see, then I'm my house is just very, very nearby. But we have this uh, penchant for those who the church is very close to, they always go late to school. And the discipline has shown me because the teachers I met all this time were the those days where corporal punishment was allowed. And if our parents would come and tell the teacher to, to, to look special attention to this particular child, when they notice maybe because of your growing up, you are, they will carry, bring you to the school and hand you over to one teacher. So you become under an, an, a watchful eye, I, if I can say, an, 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 under an attack. But then that's, that's one. Discipline, that's one thing that I have learned and I'm trying to, by God's grace, trying to also tell my children that when, if when we are at Nobi Central School. A lot of families have benefited from that, yeah, especially the uh, missionaries or uh, the people who, who actually did everything about education. That was no government it, um, interest. So, we can count from 100 years people who have come through this have come from the education foundation from the today. This is where we learned about the policy of uh, the carrot and the stick. When you're also doing very well, the school will reward you, we recognize you. Remember those songs? We were singing those days when it's near September, when the final uh, you know, time result will be released. They were singing. Once it's almost the time they will convene us, we were singing September, October. You know, they were singing. And when we get there, and if you are among the first three in your class, you will be brought up in the higher assembly ground and the whole school will look at you and clap for you and there's a lot of things will be said about you by your teachers, even the headmaster and you receive a handshake that you more, almost cherish for years, you won't even almost not wash your hand for months. Central School Nobi has remained under the good care of the Diocese of the Niger Anglican Communion through St. Simon's Anglican Church Nobi a baby of the early CMS missionaries, that early education foundation has continued to be maintained and sustained. This school has been doing very well from the past records. So their first school living certificates and their common interest, it has been 100% excellent. The diocese is making effort to restructure all our schools and make them well new look. You know the environment a child is brought up is very, very important. It matters a lot. So uh, the Lancet is uh, very much interested in looking at it. For effective management and administration of schools and colleges under the diocese, an education board has been put in place with experienced, qualified hands to drive the policies guiding education processes of the mission schools and related institutions in the diocese. Teachers propel the teaching and learning processes in an educational environment. So, in any situation that their activities helped to foster good learning and development of the pupils, they are always appreciated. I want to thank us and I want to steal us, the teachers of this school. <laughs> But I still want to urge them to continue to do well. 
to continue to rear these children and direct them in the ways they should go. Be mindful because the material we work with, the human persons, I had a deal with files and papers. If I had a deal with mad to cook Most importantly also, these ones I had a deal with the centenary celebration was a combined effort of different bodies and individuals, but there was a lead, an arrowhead galvanizing from all wings for success. Single-handedly, for now, Bagale, now go on the model. Now go for old school members. Walked out with the PTA, the planning committee. We made this occasion possible today. I want to say thank you to all of you who made this a possibility. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. And, uh, the centenary year goes with a celebration cake. Some men and women of honor, among them the wife of the Anglican Bishop of Agoata Diocese, who we are privileged to have passed through Central School Nobi, present at the occasion, performed the ceremony of cutting of the anniversary cake in honor of their primary alma mater. S U S Jesus. The pupils of Central School Unobi, even at the centenary year, reassured their commitment to sound learning. There were packages and presentations as testimonies of the good effort of the teachers in impacting positively on the pupils. The song, a welcome song, was laden with hope. The young ones were not oblivious of the fact that Central School Nobi, their school, has established a strong presence among peers in the good old days of the early missionaries. They therefore strongly affirmed their resolve not to lower the standard or deviate from the status quo at their time.
Bishop. Let Levin of Lower World call us Bishop and Elijah. The Venerable Dr. Oswald is the weather. The Archdeacon of Nobi Archdeacon. His Excellency Dr. Shibulian Obiano. The Governor of Anambra State. Professor Mrs. Kate Omenoha. The Commissioner for Education. Chief Intelego Rizabeth. The Aspep Shaman. Mommy by Nagushe Elepo. The Education Secretary Debra South. Welcome to you all. The pupils, teachers of the school, and those who passed through Central School Nobi as then pupils converged on the arena for a special rededication to God after hundred years. It was a moment of soul lifting and super presentation to God, appreciation and supplication. Jesus. Amen. 
This is a unique and dramatic moment as the 100-year-old Central School Nobi was replicated in a group of infant pupils of the school. These special pupils reflect the good old times of Central School Nobi. We are 100 years. We are 100 years. We are 100 years today. Dramatically, they bore the burden of age upon the school and reflect sin in movement, props, makeup, and costume. They also reflect as well the hope and aspiration for a better tomorrow for their school. Come together. Children, come together. Children, come together. Come together. Come together. Children, salute Jesus. Jesus, I salute you. Children, salute Jesus. Children, salute Jesus. Parents Teachers Association, an unrelegated group, unequivocal in their determination, took the lead in addressing the myriad of challenges massaging the school. They made a presentation of a set of brass band for use by the pupils. <laughs> I say, Oh, I can even have one ever. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. I don't know what I'm going to go. I don't know what Okay, one the child of this band. My girl, my wife, I quite want to see far. Duration, duration of uh, one hundred thousand. Huh? Uh, so, how many million? I can I want to take all the parents who have struggled in one way or the other to put up this band for the school. 
The Lord will reward every other person in seeking with what every one of us. Undeniably, Central School Unobi lacks an ambience that depicts a school of 100 years old. The environment, however, calls for relics and landmarks for posterity. If um, you come to a compound and there's um, a building you want to lo look at as a monument, you do it very well and it will be neat. So that when somebody comes in, it will, it, will, it will not be an eyesore. They will look at it and say, why is this? He said, it's to show the generation that is to come that this is where we started. But when you look at that thing, it's no longer a building. You, you can only see mud blocks with some plaster, something, some are off and some in. It doesn't represent, it's like an, an idol shrine. It's not good for the compound. Well, a lot of things are expected from us. Is so the problem we have is that we have not been uh, uh, having uh, old people's meeting. In fact, we, this uh, centenary will mark a kind of the beginning of organizing the old peoples of this school. And as we organize ourselves, for the different branches, then come back to meet the needs of this school, both spiritually. Academically, structure. Key stakeholders no doubt believed in the need to look back and contribute towards making Central School no be greater and better. Onye mwele mkwa ha kwa haka nume. Huna mkwa ha zupu ta go mwoke, zupu ta mwai. Ndia na anwafa hana obodo di chicha. Mano obodo yubo, mana ebe di chicha. Nife, huna mkwa ha chwazele ebo, kwa mwa haka sinu huna mkwa ha pata, ne eche taya. So, old boys and girls questioning. We have teachers, but we don't have enough. Even though the federal government has succeeded in giving us uh, empower teachers. But you know that empowered teachers, they will only stay for two years and they will go. And we, 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 we go back to where we have uh, stopped. Because most of most, uh, our school, as we have population, we have only 12 or 10 teachers. They cannot manage 500 and something children, no matter how. So we, we, we believe that if the government can employ permanent teachers that will serve, that will continue to serve in the system, it will upgrade the standard of education. If we have alumni, it will make all of us here to come together once in a while. We you know, look at the, their problems, help them solve their problems, whatever they cannot do. They will be able to you know, communicate what they are facing. That is the only way we can see because after today, in fact, I don't know whether I matched my ground here. Maybe that was 79. Since 79, I've not been here. You can imagine 75. I check it. It's 39 years now. So assuming we have alumni, once in a while, why not? I will come out. I like such. At least it will give me opportunity to see my you know, classmates that I've not been seeing for long. So it will help us if there are any contributions we can make to see that the college. In fact, I'm expecting to see more building. I didn't know it's just that one we have we that time. I know this is senior that. class that time. Uh, we had junior, I think this one that was uh, uh, demolished was junior that. primary school. Uh, so by that I was expecting okay. to see fantastic building. Because as we have that but alumni the, school, it will help us to at least contribute, make fantastic building, help renovate the whole place. Just like somebody was saying about trees. Those that did agriculture, agricultural teachers, who can motivate students or alumni people who can do something great so that the school will be something fantastic. The school is being challenged and that's why this uh, celebration today is just like a stepping stone. There are so many things like when the church was going on, they were saying what you can use to remember the centenary. We are planning a centenary building for the school so, and it's only the alumni association that can do this. And it's only under the platform alumni association you can meet an individual you can recognize to assist to do this and even reach out to other friends of the alumni to help us build the school. We don't have recreational facilities here. It's not only in private schools that uh, facilities are needed. Facilities are needed more in, 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 in public schools. Because when we have those facilities, we don't have electricity here, neither do we have generators. We don't have, we're into technology now, but there's not even a single computer here. 
So we need all these things to make the school functional and to be a model and to follow suit with other, uh, to, or to compete with other schools. One of the challenges we have is uh, security. I saw openings in the fence. I was asking, they say it's from where hoodlums enter here and do havoc. So and I'm advising that uh, they use a vigilante of the vi a village to ward them off. We don't have um, uh, sports facilities. You see, most of the time, even though the UNICEF or the, through the World Bank, um, the World Bank, I had a, they've provided a, a table tennis board for us. Uh -huh. We needed more of those uh, uh, sports facilities because uh, it is very important that the children participate in sports, not only in academics.